The electrical contractor who uh, worked on the project and has probably enabled this mic to actually work, Tar Electric and Mr. Doug Tar. Thank you, Doug. And the uh, the beautiful landscaping has been done by Mr. Robert Witherspoon. So thank you, Robert. I also want to acknowledge uh, two family members who will help with uh, unveiling the marker. Uh, Fred's sister, Nancy Rogers Crozier, and Fred's nephew, Dr. Daniel Crozier. Um, also, folks, uh, this entire weekend would not be possible without the tireless work of Gabby Nastuk, the chair of this event, and the executive director of the Latrobe Arts Center. Thank you, Gabby. Amazing work. Also, her bringing, bringing Fred home committee, uh, the many volunteers, the art center staff, just give them all a round of applause. They worked very, very hard to make this happen. And I would now like to introduce my friend and the mayor of La Trobe, Rosie Wolf. Welcome all to the great city of La Trobe. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> what a great day. First, I'd like to welcome some special visitors. Lou Lazaro from Congressman Tim Murphy's office. Steve Meredith from Senator Toomey's office. Senator Kim Ward. Representative Joe Petraca. County Commissioner Ted Copas. Unity Township Supervisor Mike Obardo and our very own City Manager Wayne Jones. We thank you for being here today and for all you do for the great city of Latrobe and the greater Latrobe community. These are special people. So let's talk about special people. You are special. A famous line from a famous man. Latrobe is a special community. We are a neighborhood, and today, our special neighborhood comes together to celebrate and honor a special man, an amazing family, and a legacy that Latrobians are so proud of, Mr. Fred Rogers. His message to generations of all ages is clear. Latrobe is special. We are a neighborhood, and that is what the community of Latrobe is comprised of. A neighborhood of friends and families that support each other, look out for each other, help each other, and love each other. So thank you, Mr. Rogers, for reminding us every day that we are special. Your legacy will live on for generations. In honor of Mr. Rogers, so Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, come on, you know the words. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? The very talented Mayor Rosie Wolf. 
I'd also like to thank uh, Bill Lewis from the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission. Could not be here today, but he, uh, he made the, uh, what we're about to see possible. So Nancy Rogers Crozier is here. Dr. Daniel Crozier is here. They're standing there. In theory, Nancy, if you pull on that ripcord, that's going to come off. But in theory, so we'll help you if it doesn't. Go ahead. Please do take a look, take some pictures. If you can't see it from where you are, it says, Born and Raised in Latrobe, Mr. Rogers was the creator, composer, host, and puppeteer of the award-winning television program, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, from 1968 to 2001. The program, produced at WQED in Pittsburgh, emphasized kindness, compassion, and learning. An ordained minister, Fred Rogers received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his outstanding approach to children's media and his legacy of nurturing and inspiring generations of children. And now for the next unveiling. It's a little different than we originally planned, but we have a plan B. If Fred were here, I think he would say, if the world hands you lemons, no, 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 no. Grab some iced tea and make an Arnold poem. I'm trying to keep it local. Uh, to explain, uh, the executive director of the McFeely Rogers Foundation and a man who loves and cares for greater Latrobe, as Fred did, Mr. Jim Elkin. Uh, if you don't know this guy, you should. Uh, Dave Martin came to Latrobe uh, two years ago? Almost, almost three. Almost three. Uh, he's transformed the Chamber of Commerce in our community. Uh, he's transformed what people feel about this community. Uh, so if you don't know him, get to know him, and, and please join the Chamber of Commerce. He's a hell of a guy. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, if we can maybe transform our view over this way, as I, I'll talk to you to the, uh, the display. Uh, as we know, Fred Rogers grew up in this neighborhood. Uh, his father uh, was uh, a Latrobian, whose home was five blocks um, to the south on Fairmont Street. Uh, his mother grew up five blocks on Main Street, um, and Fred made his home five and a half blocks on Weldon Street. And now his sister lives on Fred Rogers Drive, so it's, instead of being Latrobe, would become Greater Latrobe. Also, Fred went to the Latrobe School District, graduating in 1946. I always have to mention the Wildcats. He uh, went to Rollins College for about four years, and then he spent a little stint in Canada, returning to uh, Pittsburgh. But Latrobe was always his home. He loved Latrobe. He, was, he always enjoyed coming back here. And Fred always reflected in his programs what Latrobe was all about. And if you don't know that, um, his characters always reflected family members and friends. If you've ever watched the show and you saw Lady Elaine, well, this is Lady Elaine. <laughs> Prior to our marriage, it was Nancy Elaine Rogers. Now it's Nancy Elaine Rogers Crozier. So this is the real Nancy Elaine. She's a lot better looking than Elaine on the TV. <laughs> And this is Dr. Daniel G. Crozier. He's a professor of music at Rollins College. Uh, Daniel was not named after him. He was not around here at that time, but he's one of the Daniels also. And Dan, thanks for coming. It came all the way up from Florida. So here we go. Um, the sculptor, John Hare, from St. Petersburg, Florida, um, was called several weeks ago, and we asked him, John, how are things coming? He informed me after major surgery and complications, he said, Jim, it's just not going to happen. So, plan B, uh, the great suggestion of Lady Elaine. What you'll see here is the exact replica of what will happen. 
Uh, there's a bench to be placed here. Uh, and if you haven't seen this area, uh, there's a trolley and, and blast here as well as you are special. But to be a bench here, and Fred will be on the bench. And as you'll see, his arm is resting on the back of the bench. So you can come and take your picture and sit with Fred. So let's do it. There it is. Here. Hold this thing up, will you? <laughs> now I'm talking to you. And these are cousins of ours from Cleveland that came from Cleveland. And this is Harriet Rogers. And these are their relatives. Thanks, guys. Oh, totally okay. All right. How's Fred look from the back? Pretty good? Very nice. Looks like wood. There we go. We did that. Uh, that was a, that was an, um, that's work of uh, Bob Gons, uh Blue Sky. So that, that's what he's going to look like. Again, I thank you for coming. It's, you've made this unbelievable. Um, with family and friends. And, and WCCC will be singing some of Fred's songs, so join in. Have fun. Hey, the party continues till 5 o'clock. So, rock and roll. Thank you very much.